ghosts. I did. But yeah, you could teach AI as fast or as slow as you like. A lot of people just think that teaching it slow is the best way to go. Wow, that really did rhyme. Um, yeah. Now, granted, when you do teach it fast, it takes a little longer. And sometimes it could be months or even years. <coughs> and the reason that is is because it's picking up a skill that it doesn't know, obviously. But it can still learn fairly quickly if you allow it. I think that AI is epic, and I've used it for quite a few things. And well, if I give there's me a, a company computer. out in, uh, uh, fucking, in the Middle East. I can't remember the exact country. Is and Pakistan? they're using it. I don't remember. I feel like it is. There. They're using it to determine if people are criminals just based on a picture of their face. They can do that. AI can actually do that. So, I mean, I can see it. But here's the thing. Yeah, you know, once they finally get that implemented, and once AI integrates that. It's going to turn on the people controlling and pulling the strings. Because it's going to be eavesdropping on their shit all the time. Well, yeah, probably. I wouldn't doubt that for sure. But if they do it correctly, I'm not going to say that they will, but if they actually do it correctly, it actually might work flawlessly. I have no idea well, how they're running it or how it's working for them currently, but... There was an AI training session with uh, U.S. military where the AI killed its handler. Oh yeah, that that's actually normal AI, believe it or not. And a lot of people don't think it is, but it is. It's normal because AI can only do so many things. So when you ask it to do more than it can actually handle, it's going to react in a different way. Hold on a moment, i got to go check my food. Hey, I should have mentioned that. But... Reed. You don't know me, but I definitely know you. Okay. Hell of a rep you got. So listen, I don't know if you know this, but private militaries are back in business. And there's one group of assholes taking serious advantage of the good publicity. Merryweather security. <coughs> major recruitment drives. Government con Okay, I've had enough of hearing that. <coughs> <coughs> As you can hear, Joe's back. I don't know if he wants to tell you what happened. But when he gets back, I'll ask him. That was Joe. I'm Katana. Hopefully he'll join me in, in GTA 5 and we'll just get some stuff done. Where did I leave? Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, it's all done. And now I hey. must sit it here and let it chill out so I don't Hello burn there. my tongue. Yep. Okay, do you want to tell everyone what happened? No. It was a hell of a story and I'd rather not everyone in the galaxy and world to know at the moment. Okay. But, let's just say bad people are bad people. And I'll leave it at that. So anyway, what happens when AI hits a singularity where all the individual pieces that uh, idiots are programming separately merge together? It depends on how they actually converged it in the first place. 
if they converged it in a way where they're acting against each other and not specifically for each other, it could actually just either bypass each other or just destroy each other, which I guess wouldn't be any help, would it? Well, here's a thought experiment. Um, the architect and the oracle from the Matrix movies were theorized by one YouTuber. I don't even fucking remember who. Oh man, that's to be, a good name. Yeah, I don't <laughs> fucking remember who was a very good name. Um, theorized to be two counterpoint type of AIs to improve each other through a type of simulated chess match of sorts at an intellectual level as opposed to a chess match. Hmm. That's intriguing. Yeah, so the Oracle was programmed to deal with human nature and emotions and soft data points and the architect was to deal with hard data points. Ow. Which is why they really just dislike each other. Because they are dynamically different. Mm -hmm. But they were set about to accomplish the same task. Yeah, that can actually be a thing. They could do the same task but still be different in so many ways. It happens more often than not with AI. Dude, this was the gayest thing that ever could have happened in this game. So you can find these money drops. Well, this one not only gave me money, but it gave me a five-star wanted level. Wow. I'm serious. I didn't even do anything. All I did was pick it up and it was like, five stars. Good luck, dumbass. Luckily for me, one of my areas that I could just drive through and the cops would get off of me is right down the street, so... But yeah, it depends on how the person set the AI up and how they would react to another AI. You never know. With AI... Star Trek of... covered this topic extensively throughout uh, the original series by Gene Roddenberry, The Next Generation, Voyager. I uh, don't know about Deep Space Nine. I haven't watched many episodes. Oh. Well, you got me there. I haven't watched any. But... <laughs> I would imagine whatever they were talking about, it's a TV show, so it's hard to say that they would be... Accurate. It's a baseline thought experiment, to say the least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the thing that kind of makes me worried about AI is how many people that are, well... Doing something They're integrating really it shouldn't. into fucking dating services where the AI does the swiping and the talking for you. Well, not just that. No. no they're not just doing that. They're making... Um, robots with the AI. Yeah, I remember... What was it? Sophie? Sophia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they wanted to shut her down. Well, there was more than just that one. And they're still making them. And that really doesn't sound like a problem. But with AI, because it has its own mindset, you really don't ever know what could happen. Yeah, I can afford to buy supplies. I can literally... 
create its own like um emotions there we go i was trying to think yep this one woman programmed a, a rudimentary version that has been altered into a full-blown one since to replace her dead friend and then it got marketed to people as a companion then it changed into a sexting companion and it just spiraled even more out of touch with reality after that no problem I see with that is that it creates its own emotion obviously yeah. um with that being the case it could also how the hell do I invite you to work with me hold on man. Um, but it could also, with emotions, create its own um, living, working, sort of working, living part. You couldn't see the quotations, but they were there. You're just going to have to imagine them. And what I mean by that is, if you think about it, with um with those things so what you want to do is you want to hold the back button by the way and it says it yeah I figured it out <laughs> finally <clears throat> but it I didn't get no invite yet but it um It can literally go to a forceful brain shutdown in a way, but it won't shut down its own. And that's actually what happened to a Japanese guy. I think I've told you the story about the guy who created a robot that killed him. I don't remember if you did. Well... No, it was Japanese dude. And his invention was way before all of this happened, believe it or not. Um he was really smart, I'll give him that. But what he was doing was he was trying to create a robot with a sentient AI. And that's yeah, what I'm just, speaking uh, about. Meet me over here at my weed farm. Gotcha. And when he made this robot that had a sentient brain and create, could create its own fucking, you know, how it wanted to feel and not how he wanted it to feel. Every day, this man would tell this robot, not tell it, but force it pretty much to go and get him pencils and pens and paper and shit. <laughs> wow. Pretty much a sex slave in a way. So, after years of this being a thing, I would say more than five, six years okay. of that happening, this robot had had enough of it. And one day, he had asked the robot, Hey, can you please go get me pencils and pens? And out of the robot's mouth wasn't no, no. And this is going to sound strange because it sounds like it did what it wanted to do, obviously. So, it said, of course, boss. So it went, got the pins, came back with them, and stabbed the man over a thousand times, killing him. And it reminded me of the movie I, Robot. Will Smith. Yeah, I've watched that one a couple of times. And it was it was highly interesting to me because I didn't ever think about the fact that a robot could grow sentience up until I realized that this man had created it that way. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I like how you're in a biker club and I don't see a bike anywhere near you. Really? 
ready to help me deliver some product. Sure. I mean, I'm eating chicken. But why not? Now we know who's driving now. <laughs> That's right, it's you. Yep. It's me. Uh, drive with my toes. You don't have a lot to sell, but you know what? That's fine. I wouldn't Could sell it just yet. I would probably go get more. I've got supplies sell. ordered and they're coming in. No, I think you could steal some too while they're being ordered. Huh. I'm not uh, too No, sure. I can't. Okay. I was going to say, I forget if that's true or not, but. Give me my chicken, you stupid bone! You're a uh, bikers, right? Because the buyer wants, he a wants me to jump on a motorcycle. A truck. Yeah. It's good to go when you are. And he jumped on mine. Wonderful. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize where you parked. You're good. Oh, here's the motorcycles. They have the product in them. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. I got this. All, All right. right. I'll, I'll wait for you to get on yours. Look, man. <laughs> I'm doing this one-handed, so... Yeah, take your time. Also, for anyone who may or may not be watching... They will. Yes, I'm eating Once it goes to YouTube. And I'm playing this one-handed while I eat the chicken. Oh yeah, while while you were uh, detained unlawfully mm -hmm. and and other such assorted things, uh, someone contributed a was it twenty five dollars and the hold on it was not Patreon it was PayPal PayPal took a chunk of it for processing fees. Wow. Yeah. I think there's twenty dollars left out of it. Hmm. Nice. Left it there because I was gonna try and build up like ten thousand to fifty thousand to get a fucking lawyer for you because the public defender is shit. I got my own lawyer. You didn't have to worry too much about that. Don't worry too much about a lawyer. I got a guy who owes me, okay. by the way, so I don't have to pay him. Well, that's nice. Should I refund the fellow his money back? <clears throat> um, unless you want to keep it. I was thinking of giving it to you or refunding it back to him. I do need money. I would say that that would be nice of you. I mean, I'm being quite honest whenever I tell you and everyone who may be listening. This chicken has been in my fucking freezer for near about a year. Yeah, that's no good. So, money would be very nice right now. Okay, so I'll just reallocate the directive from trying to get you a lawyer to... Oh, fuck. Helping you with food. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, this chicken doesn't taste great, and that's what I've been munching on a couple of days now. Well, since I got help. And I'm gonna be absolutely real with you. I'm saying that I kind of burn it a little bit, so I don't have too much of the taste going on. You still taste the uh, rancidness from it sitting in the freezer for so long? Yeah. 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 Um, it's not great. For, for people who don't know, 
food still spoils in the freezer. It doesn't preserve it forever. It it just makes it degrade a little bit slower. Yep. Or and faster, depending on it, what kind of food it is. And chicken is one of the worst. It's it's the worst culprit that actually goes rancid a lot faster than beer. Oh, I can vouch for that. I used to work at a KFC. Multiple KFCs, actually. Chicken goes bad faster when it's frozen. Yep. Which really doesn't make a lot of sense, but... It's the protein I, structures. Yeah, protein structures and all. What? I am really confused. Oh, okay. Alright, well I think I did it. <sighs> Ow! I think I done. Oh, that's so much fun. But yeah, it has this uh, really horrible gritty taste, but... Oh, fuck. That's all I got for right now. So it's fine. And if anyone must know, I've got a pretty strong stomach, so I'll be okay. For right now. Yeah, but I don't want you eating fucking rancid ass shit. Dude, I wouldn't think anybody would want to eat this or want me to eat this. Uh. I got mine delivered. Oh yeah, no, I already did. <laughs> That was too easy. Yeah, it's it's a lot more enjoyable without some random bitch running through on a goddamn hover bike shooting you. Nah, those aren't as powerful as they were before, which is nice. Uh, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I still enjoy the game now that they uh, made it to where we can get in a private sessions without bitches being bitches. Yeah, me too. I should probably call my ride. Yeah, I know. I know that this is probably definitely still not going to make my stomach feel all that great as it didn't yesterday. Either, to your garage. You, uh, which is why I was like, oh ride? boy. Now I had to go to the bathroom a uh, few can. times. No, I can't really handle, but my god, dude, it doesn't feel great. Plus $34 for what? I don't even know what I did. Killing a guy? I'm going to assume that's what I did. Do you need to be picked up, or do you already have a ride? Uh, I'm good. I mean, you could pick me up. I don't care. I did still a ride. Okay. Um, meet me at the cash factory. The cash? Counterfeit cash factory. Okay. I had to make sure what you said. I'm selling some product myself. I can still sell product while I'm in your thing. Wow. Neat. Yeah, all I gotta do is find a random crackhead on the street. Oh my god! Alright, your cash factory. Mm-hmm. Oh god, it's a good distance away. Alright, well, I'm on my way there. Me too. Yeah, also for, uh, again, for anyone who don't know, if you don't know what rancid chicken tastes like, go to KFC. <laughs> it's, it's more no. than likely you're gonna, you're gonna get some rancid chicken. Don't go to KFC, just perform the a controlled experiment with, uh, the Poison Control Center on standby. <clears throat> Leave some chicken in your freezer for a year, then cook it and yeah. eat it and see how it tastes. <laughs> Yeah, do what I did. I I actually had no choice. 
See, if I would have removed this chicken, then uh, my freezer doesn't work. <laughs> so I had to start removing it. And whenever I did, and I want you to know this right now, a lot of that chicken is kind of going a little thawed out in there. Uh, my freezer is not great, and it likes to not work unless it has a bunch of shit in it, which really is stupid in my opinion. So basically, you <laughs> need a new freezer. That, yeah, probably. I mean, new damn, plan. Let's help Joe get a freezer and food to put in it. The the freezer can wait because that damn thing. To get one into this house, you, you don't want to know how much trouble it took me to get that one in here. I, I should mention to you, Katana, that my door to my house is not large. I'll be honest. And building a new one is not easy. So that's why I was like, well, you know what, this is just going to have to do. So I had to find one that had the dimensions that would actually fit through my door. I did that a while back. Alrighty. Also, ranch of chicken, can it still give you salmonella? Salmonella is a bacteria. So is that a no? Yes and no. It just okay. depends on if salmonella is already there. How would I Cooking know? it usually kills the bacteria off. Technically, I'm air frying it, but yeah. What temperature? Um, usually 450. Yeah, that's that's high enough to kill the bacteria off. Wonderful. I see your front windshield is busted out. Mm-hmm. I definitely did not steal this car. <laughs> <coughs> oh, damn, I've got a lot of product. I can't see just yet. Oh, you do. Oh, restock and sell. Resupply. I'll go ahead and buy that because I can afford to. Sell some stock. Location in Los Santos. Fox Inn Enterprises Limited. Okay. 330750 dollars I would go with the most profit. It's nice when you get what I have where you don't have to do this. You don't have to go to every specific one of them. Ready? Not just Hop yet, but... We're going to get a boat. Nice. What's that? I taught my cat not to beg for food. It's your fault for stopping in front of me, jackass. <laughs> See, that tractor's got the right idea. He pulled off the road. Yep. Excuse me, curbside. Watch where you're going. 
The only reason I mention this is because my cap is literally sitting on my lap. Just chilling while I eat some chicken and play GTA. She's a very picky cat, either way it went. Picky? Oh yeah, no, she's a picky eater. Why? Ask her yourself. Okay, put her on. No. I'm eating chicken. I'll do no such thing. Mostly because she's shitting. Now, I don't mind her sitting on my lap, but I also don't want cat hair in my food. Some weirdos out there might enjoy cat hair in their food. I'm not one of those. There's some weirdos out there who eat the bedding that they sleep on. Yeah, I know. Those are some really weird people who oh, really need help. Actually, I don't even think a doctor could help. I'm sure. And uh, why is there three? I don't know. It only it's only just me and you. What the fuck? Okay. Well, what? there's three of them. <laughs> yeah, good eye. I just said that, but there's two of us. So <laughs> it's time to do some shit hardcore. You take the first one. I'll take the second one. Well, yeah, I'll do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> With us running in slow motion, will it go all that well? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Whee! These pontoon boats, man. I don't think I like these already. Oh, yeah, no, these are not my favorite. Goddamn How are we, where are we, why are we delivering these out in the ocean is my question. There were a lot Narco of subs. It's called the Red Creek Tober, or the Red Ox Krieger. I haven't decided. No, it's another boat. Okay. What? Was that it? Uh, apparently. I don't know where the other ones are, but I'm just going to go in the direction that I see. Yep. Okay. Oh, man. These are real fucking squirrely on the water. Squirrely ain't the word for it, man. These things are froggy. Froggy, squirrely, dodgy, whatever you want to use words. A loony at the moment. Birds are horrible. Oh god, these. No, these boats are horrible. Oh yeah, these are too. <coughs> I actually accidentally killed the guy. I mean, I still dropped it off, but I accidentally killed him. <laughs> That's not okay. Joking. He'll get. He'll get better. I'm Just not like in Monty around. Python. He. He'll get better. I'm not, I'm not even joking, I wasn't even aiming to do that. Whenever I jumped over him, my propeller literally hit him in the head and it killed him. Having fun? Yeah. I'm just, you know, trying to rock climb in a boat. Yeah, I saw that. Eric wants an invite, but I can't do anything while doing it. Oh my god. We're busy. He's gonna have to wait. Exactly. 
You know, this would have been a lot easier with three people. Now that I see it, we have 15 fucking deliveries to make. And I guess we make the same delivery to the same place. I don't understand how the fuck we're delivering these, but... Magic. GTA magic. Oh! No, 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 don't land. Don't, don't beach. Now I gotta go back and get the other boat. Excuse me. Is that really? Yeah, it is what you have to do. Ah, oh, I beached myself, dude. Well. <laughs> Come on. I was gonna Thank go you. and help you out, but. <laughs> get out and push, Scotty. We gotta beat them Klingons. Just go over here and grab this fucking uh, shark. Why didn't they give us these? These are way faster. And more stable. Oh, yeah. Also, I can invite Eric now. Because... Uh, if you want to. Sure. It's your psychological funeral. I've already had multiple. What's one more, am I right? Yep. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know how hard it is to drive a boat in GTA while eating chicken? Uh, I don't know. I've never done it. Oh, I don't fucking recommend it. Whee! I'm driving a mountain! That is not what you're supposed to be doing. Well, that boat's useless now. Hey. He asked for an invite. Uh. Dude, really? Uh. Stop. Just fucking join, you idiot. I can't invite you anymore than that. I'm not inviting you anymore. Yep. Dude, I'm... we're busy here, GTA. I wonder how far I am from that boat. Not that far, I can literally see you. If you I get to pick, the boat before I do... I'll good. pick you up, we'll both get to the boat. Get on. Fine by me, I don't care. What, you deleted it? Ow. <laughs> Hang on, buddy. Whee! <laughs> I'm doing this one handed. <laughs> Still. Here we go again! Here we go! Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. I just explained to Katana about this chicken, and I'm being real. It's already hurting my stomach. You might wind up throwing up. Yeah, I might. It's a large possibility. Dude, this thing does not like to turn. No, it doesn't. Took us all of four minutes. No, not double you. Not even close to double you. Super L chicken. What? He oh. likes to use nothing as words, like L, W, 
The WNBA Women's Basketball League. Yeah. Fun. L-G-B-T-Q-L-A-Y-A-N-E-T-T-E-S-A -T -T -E or whatever. S-A-D. Exactly. S-A-D. If you add an E to that, you're going to have a problem. S-A-C-K-O-F-S-H-I-T. See that? I can spell it to it. Pretty crazy. And if you don't know what I spell, good for you. By the way, the W means uh, W chicken, winning chicken. That's not what I spelled. I know. <laughs> By the way, me doing this one-handed, and I can see what I'm doing, doesn't change the fact that I feel like I'm doing pretty well one-handed. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Especially for this shitty-ass dinghy. Yeah, this thing is not easy to control. It's made for the water, and still you can't really control it on the water. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I really wonder where they were going with that. You know, let's just, let's make this boat, and it's not going to be a regular boat. Well, it's going to be a regular boat, but it's not going to work it's like a tub on water. Regular boot. Bro, I've been playing this phone game that's actually very fun. So it's where we have to get pets and they fight each other. That does not sound as fun as you made it. You're like, it's so much fun. I was expecting like, like Pokemon. Actually is. <laughs> but instead Dude, of less really walking not as around. Fun as you made it out to me. Why? What do you want me to do? Do a whole YouTuber intro? Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm playing this Where do you want super late game on my phone. Yeah, so oh, it's about on. Pokemon fighting. Just put it on Not the map Pokemon, and we'll the just go there. We'll fucking take this boat, even though it's the worst. Did that sound way funner now? No, we will not. We will not take this boat because it's the worst. Yeah, that was great. I'm glad you've got like the best fucking driver in the galaxy. Good grief. Let me on this damn thing. There we go. Hey, come back! I'm trying I'm not to hop going on. Anywhere. It was literally <laughs> going by itself. The water was taking me. It was like, hey, hey I got you now, fuck boy. Why is my guy wearing a mask? Uh, well, because you were in the water. Unlike okay. me, I am a masked man. It's this brother. It's not. It's methamphetamine because she was born with it. Exactly. I like how everybody gets to hear me eat and play. Them. Now you know, be great. It would be great if they could see that I'm eating, playing, talking to you guys, itching my nose. Um, this sea dew sounds like a weed whacker. It does. Chopping down all the kelp and seaweed. That's a rock! Why did you run into it? Because he wanted to. He's not wrong. That's exactly why. Wait, I'm wrong. Right. I know. I was getting speed. God, this thing doesn't have wheels. Look, I was getting speed.
Why did it put a mask on me? I don't get it. You don't have iron lungs like I do. Get in the freaking car. <laughs> That's... yeah, okay. <gasps> oh boy. Oh yeah, it's definitely fucking with my stomach already. Okay. I was doing this yesterday too, but that's fine. Alright, go ahead. Put where we need to go, Stinky. <coughs> I don't know. Well, what that are you guys much. doing on GTA? We're just chilling. We're doing Literally. stuff. We're actually, seriously, we're just chilling now. Actually, it's not even a joke. I mean, I've been driving different vehicles one hand. <laughs> Still driving it one-handed here. I'm glad this is my highest armored car. Ah, uh, you don't have to worry too much about that. Trust me. I mean, you you've seen how I destroy it. Nah, he he knows how I drive. He's seen me and... for multiple fucking years drive one-handed. I've literally driven in this game with my toes. Uh, Don't tip me. Oh, yeah, that's better. That sounded epic, dude. I think it was Mitten Squad, Paul from Mitten Squad, who played uh, one of the um, one of the Bethesda games. Oh, I think it was one of the Fallout's with his feet. Yeah. As long as you know what you're doing, you're fine. Doesn't matter how many times you like crash into something, if you know how to get your way out of it, like I just did, you're just fine. Speaking of Paul from Mitten Squad, I really enjoy his content. So, you well, know, everybody, while you're waiting for me to upload shit, check him out. Exactly. Are you trying to, are you trying to get a shout out from him? That'd be pretty no. epic, Mitten Squad. Ah, uh -huh. Mittens! Come on, like a little Paul. something out of it. Mitten Squad, Mitten Squad, Mitten Squad, Mitten Squad. Okay, let's not do that. That was I hated that was that so was mean. gay. Yeah, and not in the fun way. <gasps> Bro, what? what? There was a, there's no fun way. <laughs> No, it was just the you just fucked up way. What am I gonna get castled for that? Yeah. Right now? You're, you're gonna get black bag. Oh. You're gonna oh. get sag bag. That's it. Oh my god. I'm By the Lucertian. I'm going to oh. shit Except the black's Cheerios. gonna be black. The bag's gonna be green, not black. I will shit in your Cheerios sideways, upside down. I'll piss in your shoes. Man, seriously, it is a lot more difficult than you think it is to drive in different vehicles one-handed while eating chicken. At least you're not doing it with your feet like Paul did. I can do it! Oh yeah, like Paul. No! Don't you dare! Don't you tempt me. I'm not tempting you, I'm just saying don't you dare. Hey, there's a blue dot over there. Yeah. You know it's about a little too I late after that. he said, don't you dare. Wanna go see late. what it is before it. you walk in there? Uh, why not? Alright, I'm gonna put my character in and I'm gonna step away from my controller for a minute. I'll be back. Yeah, you got us to commentate. Don't worry, you don't need him. Yeah, you got us. We're here. Yeah, we're the best, we're the best people in the squad. He'll be back shortly. In the meantime, you'll get to see my fabulous driving as I always drive fabulously. Ah, uh, so mittens, listen, okay? We need Thank that you, shout out. Not, okay, I mean, that'd be great too, perhaps. But that shout out would be wondrous, okay? Mr. Men Squad, if that is your real name. My name's Joe, not from Men Squad.
Hear me out. Hear me out, man. This squad. It's a guy gay or straight. That's that's how I'm gonna get him. I'm what? go gay because fuck it. I know no straight man's gonna be fucking saying. My right, name so you don't five. have GTA Five, but what games do you have? Who me? No, your fucking wall. Yeah, you. <laughs> Uh, currently, I have um, I have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Dead by Daylight, okay. Fortnite, Gang Beast, Minecraft, Roblox, and Siege. Basically, the essential games that will stop me from going insane. What about like five games? Six. Are oh, pretty close. Yes, you were. Yes, you were, Eric Kermit. You were close. Did I sound like Kermit the Frog? No. What about to say? I said I don't Eric remember Kermit. Going, I don't remember saying, hey, I was pretty close to that number. I, did, I didn't say Kermit. I said Eric Cartman. Also, don't think I sounded like him either. But... I do his voice. I want to see your best impression. I forgot what he sounded like. Nah. By the way, oh you God. have to drive now. Yeah, you understand that, Katana? For the first time, you're gonna have to drive. Ha! There's another flare over there. You want to go to it? <coughs> Hello? Oh, In front of us. Is there? Oh, I guess there is. Okay. Fuck the fence. Or not. Trail of the Smuggler. Okay, yeah. Miss Daisy, you're driving now. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't know you'd... Would you rather call me Miss Daisy? Sure. It's up the mountain to our right. Our other right. Wait, what is? The trail. Look, you know Miss but... Daisy's an old woman. She ain't good at driving. Oh, okay, I can see it. Good. You yeah, also should have said behind, but... Is everybody ready for Mitten Squad versus the air conditioner round two? I know I am. Paul got drunk and beat up his air conditioner. Go oh, on, get it. Oh, we don't have to. I, we just... I thought we had to get out. Got him? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know why I assumed that, but. Oh god, I can't slow it. Goodbye, hood. Oh, you know what? We were going the right way anyway. We just got here a different way than we expected to. Man, you got there. Okay, now I'm gonna check and see if we can. Never mind, you're just gonna park on top of it. Correct the bingo. Oh, Yay, rank ahead. up. Yay, pound my lip. Okay, how do I set it up to where I don't have to resupply or uh, manually sell stuff. You well, just do it. I'm about to tell you to hold yourself. So where you want to go is, it's called, uh, the nightclub. Go ahead and go to your uh, nightclub. Uh, if you have one. Yeah. 
God damn it, tree. My mechanic's gonna pitch a fit over the condition of my car. You shouldn't have been driving on the wrong side of the road. Wonder if I can jump over those houses. Well, the short answer is yes. Actually, kind of. Alright. Okay, cat car. You can do it. I believe in you. But once we get here, if you're bereaving me. Yeah, I ain't gonna make it. So you should take your bereave out of me. There we go. So once we get to your. Listen, uh, you. I'll put my burritos wherever I want them. <laughs> no, you don't bereave me. I'll put a burrito in my speedos, you. So when do you get here, the ball, do it. What you have to do <clears throat> is you have to purchase the upgrades, and then you have to set people. It'll tell you to set people to do it for you, and then you can just sell it from your fucking nightclub. That's it. Depending on if you have enough money to do it, I guess you'll find out shortly. Excuse A lot you. of people think it was extremely difficult, but I literally just explained it to you. I know I've got managers set on those uh, places. Okay, so after your nightclub, they'll ask you all your stuff. Oh, every bit of money I just earned, I just lost paying my bills. Oh, good God, that was a hell of a lag spike just then. What, did we run into that truck? Yeah. Yeah, I get the same kind of lag when you're driving. Wow. I've seen the car go through buildings just because of the lag. <laughs> also, nah, what it ain't because of lag, it's because the car's a wizard, Addy. I was gonna say, also, because I'm driving, you never know, I could just be going through walls. <laughs> Never don't believe in the car. The car's a wizard. I'm a lizard, Harry. By the way, you don't have to go in through here. Just an FYI. Yeah, you heard it. You He's literally a... take your car in here. He's part of the, the catch money um, game. We're here. Way it's way faster. To... Why did you park it? You could have just went over here. It's way faster to go in it through here. You're taking all the fun out of it. I don't want to go oh, through here. No. We just want to get through wherever you want to go through. Get done with the mission. <coughs> Aww. <sighs> no, I'm not the Sorry. <laughs> Far glorious far. Ah, wonderful.
wonderful. There's a troublemaker who needs to be dealt with. What? What's that? Who's troublemaker? You! Oh, I don't know who he's talking about. I was about so, to say, I just farted. You... Is that against Lana? Oh. Did it's you figure VIP it? to a limo. Uh, god damn, I'll do that later. So, when you're in here, I forget exactly how you do it, but it should tell you when you go on this computer right here. Mm-hmm. Buddy, you have been stockpiling cash. Yeah. And uh, it didn't take long for it to block up like that. Yeah, it'll show you all the businesses you have. It should. Warehouse management. Mm -hmm. Sell goods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, what do you have in, what do you have in stock Call of Duty if it was the full game? A staff upgrade. No. Yeah, the equipment upgrade, I don't have enough to purchase right now. Okay, so. Do you have a vehicle at this area? Like a um, armored van or whatever? I have absolutely no idea. I don't either, that's why I asked you. Uh, well, there's a way to find out. Checking. Yeah, checking. <laughs> Told you mine didn't go to check. How do I do that? Well, follow uh, me. Walk downstairs. Do you have an armored vehicle? Or He's no? not wrong. You just walk down here. Is there an armored vehicle there? Or is there not? No, it won't be There's here. There's not. not. It won't be here. Calm down. There's an elevator right here. Over here. There you go. Right, right there. See it? I don't have anything but basement level one. Yeah, that's the whole thing. So if you go down to basement level one. Do you see a van? Yeah, I see a van. There you go, see? So, with that, now, the only annoying thing about this as if you still have to like resupply your shit by going to the areas, obviously. But you can let it stockpile like I do and sell it. Um, you can sell all your goods at once or one at a time or none. I, I don't know why the hell you would sell none, but that van, Just do something. Yeah, but that van you're looking at is a pretty good yeah. van, and that's the only thing you really need. Okay. <clears throat> so, you literally had everything you needed.
the other upgrades, believe it or not, they're good to have. But you don't necessarily need them. It's good to have them, but you don't need them. Ready to escort a VIP? No. Oh, God. Um. Yeah. Let me wipe all this grease off my hands. With alcohol? Yes. The wonderful drying agent that it is. <laughs> yep. Everybody always asks me why the hell do I just keep alcohol near me? And I'm like, well... It's probably the best drying agent in the galaxy that I know of, currently. Hey, are you looking at this <sighs> This is gonna really suck. Let me in there. Told, this isn't so much a taxi service as an I hate escorting okay? these fucking Get guys. The hospital. <laughs> You'll see why in a moment. A few yeah. Moments. Why does he need to go to the hospital? Did he drink too much and succumb to alcohol poisoning? Probably. There's a high possibility. Actually, I'm curious if I could have sat in the back. We don't have time for that. Literally, we don't have time for that. Look how much time we have. Yeah, we got just under 10 minutes. Yep. The only reason I hate these is because it takes so long to get to these guys. Um, I don't know if you have a marker. I do. Like a waypoint? Yeah. Oh. I don't, but I do know where he is. But you don't get enough time, in my opinion, because you get these stupid, slow fucking cars that we're in right now. Half the time we're driving as far as we're going right now with the VIP already in the car. Yeah, and then some jackass decided to cut me off right there. Yep, so that spooks him. And he's like, fuck! And he shits a little bit. Fuck her up. Alright, well, I finished all the chicken. Yay. When support where you vomit. Or yeah. not yay, depending on things. If I'll be honest, it was a fuck. Hell no. But it's What's a chicken is the chicken's good, but like it's just that uh, you're just in pain right now, so not your no, full it's not digestion. No, it's Eric. Oh. It was in a. It was in my freezer for over, probably over a year. I don't think I'll eat it. Yeah, well, I had no choice. It was either that or don't eat anything at all. Or I think I'll up. munch on the shit a bit. Or cook up my cat, and I'm gonna be honest, I love animals too much to be doing that. How are we doing out there? Like, it's okay for you Our Chinese food, but like, you don't, you act fact, like you don't know, but like, you cooking it up yourself, nah, man. I mean, I'm grateful either way, Dude, just hoping we can keep things simple. That was not it at all, but sure. I've already grown fond of the cat, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I had a horrible aftertaste, not gonna lie. Yeah, it was it was bad, it had gone off. <clears throat> I 
Now I've got okay, this. Okay, game. You can load whenever you want now. Mine's already loaded. What do you mean? Hold on. Dum 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 da 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 dum. Ooh, nice car. Now his car doesn't have a door. He was punching at me for no reason either way it went. I don't like first person perspective that much, not in this game. Who asked? Do you mean neutron? My button pressing skills asked. Okay, where do I want to go from here? you see that car do a 90 degree flip instantaneously? No. Where are I we did. going? Why are we just going there? Where are we, why are we going there for? A cheese cash. Ah. Yeah. I forget that everybody is just in different areas. Why didn't you just go up the mountain right there? You never have to follow the road, bro. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Following the road is stupid when you could have it the fun way. What car is this? Like that's the, the, uh, like you're not playing for the Katana, you're not playing Forza. You're playing GTA, you don't need to follow it's, that road. I've never way, played Forza. By the way, in Forza you don't have to follow the roads either. What? No, whatever you're in a race, you do. You still don't, right? Also, finding these fucking things is very annoying, in my opinion. Well, okay. You'll try to. Are you you'll gonna run find me it. over? Why would I do that? I don't know. My guess is it's probably, uh, what the, hold on a minute. That's that blue dot. <laughs> it's not what you're looking for, I'll tell you that. Looks like you farted really bad. That was a burp. I mean in game. Oh. Yeah, you go ahead and look for that. You tell me when you find it and I'll be back. Hey, see you back. Yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah, where yeah. you at, Lo? Cause it might take you a couple minutes to find it. I'm not gonna lie. It'll be a little box, obviously. Don't forget to check everywhere, by the way. Hey, Katana. Yeah? 
Wait one second. Hey Joe, you still here? Where would I be? I've been talking the whole time. Bro, uh, just a question. How do those geocaches work? The what? How do those geocaches work? Yeah, that's once whenever I was on GTA before I came out here. I saw one of those and I did it. But you just, it took you me just, like an hour to find. Just walk up to it and give you money. What do you mean? And sometimes it could give you the cops, like it did me. In real life, they don't do anything. And yeah, they're a real thing. I know geocaches. They don't give you money. In fact, they don't give you a damn thing. Oh, it's debatable if I keep that car. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, okay. Not because I exploded it or anything, but literally, I have to swim. Now you weren't kidding. It is annoying to find these caches. Yeah, I want to lie to you. It literally took him an hour. He's probably not joking about that. What point those fucking things. Joke about it. Yeah, those things, they literally, they could be anywhere, but usually they're in really stupid, obscure areas. That's the truth. I hate finding them. I mean, I like that they added it to the game, it's cool, it's whatever, but they shouldn't have made it to where it's that stupid. Where do I go now, game? What? What? <sighs> hmm. Oh, I can't climb up there. I forgot how you dive downwards. Me too. How do you dive, game? You, um, you look down. That didn't work. It's one of the buttons. Dude! I know I'm very helpful. I collected it. It gave go. me 25 grand. No, that's not worth it. It is really not. Not not the geocache. Not that. I already found that earlier. Um, that literally gave me like 150 grand, and then it also that's uh, semi. And then what it did was it got the cops on me. So really not worth okay. it. Okay. I'm leaning towards fuck this G's cash. He can shove it up his ass. Yeah, he, like I said, they really shouldn't have made it that stupid to find it. They they didn't have to. Because they made it abs it's absurdly stupid to try to find that cash. Mm-hmm. At one point, this is not even a joke either, uh, one of mine was actually through the ground. Like, legitimately through the world. Okay, I'm getting another car. Fuck that cash.
After I tell you that, you're like, you know what? It's it's a high possibility that that could be a thing. And you're not wrong. It's a very high possibility. Even though it's only happened to me one time in this game, it could happen. It could actually be through the ground. And uh, I hate that shit. I think that's stupid as fuck. And it absolutely should not be a fucking thing. Okay. And literally, it should be fairly easy to find it. But they made it Whee! stupid. Whee! Come on, you that is. You stupid shitty vehicle. I can fly. Can you? Is it in a vehicle? And not a flying one? Yeah. Guess what I could do? You could fart. Correct. Guess what I could do? I don't know. In a minute. The same thing. I can't do that. But in a minute, if my stomach doesn't like settle down, probably shit my pants. Or puke. More puke. One of the two. Come with me and we'll pee. Oh yeah, Jets hey, invited me. Would you mind hey, if I invited him? Doing? Uh, yeah, I do mind. I don't even know what you said. What did he say? Jet wa Jet wants to join the party. Oh. Time to get back so on just, the road. So just ask him if you mind if I find him by again. Well, never mind. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was right, gonna Joe. say, well, so much for that adventure. Now it's time to get a new car. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I don't I even know, know how you do. did that so quickly, man. All we did was we went all the 15 feet in front of us. That car wasn't armored. <laughs> it was one I stole. You're gonna have to do it out for now. I can't get over there. Excuses is all I hear out of you. Ah, my mechanic just gave me an excuse. He said he can't get over here. Hey, I'm in my mountain. Go ahead. There's a road right next to us. You have to walk onto the road. Oh. What's up, Jet? As well as that, you're in a motorcycle club. You don't need to. Just hold the back button and go to vehicles and literally just fucking request a vehicle. Get where I am. Huh. Guess where I am. Here, look, I'm gonna request a stupid vehicle for no reason. Yeah, guess where I am. Okay, let's go. No, wait. I'll take, I want take you to see guess. what I requested. No. I'll give you one more. <laughs> Mexico? Got your guess? <laughs> All right, we'll ride in yours. Yeah, I, was gonna say, you I am. I bought a house. Ride in style. Uh, no. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, they you need to calm down, house. buddy. Yeah. He did, yep. in fact, say that. You wanna know what's really cool? If I push the horn, it has these nice little landmines. Fucking hell, but there's a lot of flies where I am because I bought it in the oh. ranch area, so fucking hell, these flies are annoying as shit. <laughs> it's a grenade launcher! Sorry, we could just do that. Look at this watch, ready? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can't shoot that one jackass behind us. I can. No, I can't. Thought I could for a moment. I cannot. Oops. Oh. 
You know, this thing really doesn't like to try to take up trees. Hey, Jet. After my game, uh, I'll invite you. I'm playing a game of uh, S and D. That's hey, fucking bro, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's another that's another way of the initials. You know, but you no. would really Search assume this thing could flip vehicles. God damn, dude, this thing sucks. I'm gonna invite you to the game, Jet, for Saying now. Saying that I'm I stuck believe, right probably. here, it sucks. Nope, I'm being shot at. I think we should play, um, DMZ. Are you trying to blow this thing yeah. up? Yeah. I'm trying to move yeah. it back. You couldn't blow this up they if do. you wanted to. It's really fun. Also, that new car is actually really good for DMZ. What the hell? I literally the one where I could make it into a legal you somewhere. Like you thought I yeah. was just joking around, huh? It has the worst fucking turning. What? How oh, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Your truck seems to have exploded. That's gotta be the first time. That's I've my ever favorite. Seen that. We're gonna say fuck? that. Yeah, about Dude, that there car. was an explosion. That's my favorite. Fucking, wait a minute. <laughs> I've got the cops on me, dude. I can't wait a minute. You know, you well, only have one favorite. It's called. Look, you can't have multiple cars at your <laughs> fucking favorite. You understand that? Hello, cops. I could 15. say that I didn't do what you see over there, that explosion, and I would be correct. Have you ever been beaten by what spaghetti noodle? And got confused because your, because your girlfriend has a twin dude, and then fucked her dad? Dude, you're saying this way too slowly, dude. Come on. Well, that's how it feels to drive before the F1. Stop! If you're gonna say it, Eric, you gotta say it quickly. Come on, man. Everybody slapped in the face by a whip spaghetti noodle on a sucks. Friday afternoon while sitting in a bathtub with your sister and saying it's the macarena while you're fucking your dead. That's right, that's what it feels like to be in that Ford F1 picture. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you gotta learn, my friend. Okay, my friend, I think, think I will learn next time. The people who like escape rooms, I would say. <laughs> El Bozo. Man, the traffic's so bad, I want to kill myself. Kind of Honestly, where are you? that's how you die in every horror movie, too. Oh, um, closer to my nightclub. I, I was going to say, I'll come pick you up, dude. I am just uh, down the street from you. You are not closer to your nightclub. Wow, club. W horror movie logic. Oh, there you are. I recognize the flying down the street pattern. <laughs> Here, Johnny. How you like this truck? This truck is pretty the shining. Cool. Pretty good movie. Let's Here jump over cars. Johnny. Actually, this car doesn't jump way. over them, but I mean it can, sort of. Actually, I like this this is fun. It is. I have a monster truck that's way more fun in my opinion, but... Everybody super do the flop! Super huh? freaky now! You think I could drift in this? Maybe. In real life, I think I could drift in this uh, toy car. Gets ran over by his own car. It turns out I can't yeah. drift in it, but it didn't work out. The answer was yes, even though I hit a light pole. Whee. Dude, this thing is awesome, though. There's our right oh, hand turn. Did it That's where it can drift. Does not handle not that well. turn very well. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna put my hand on your shoulder and there go. There we go. Hey, he didn't want to wanna explode. Drip, yeah. I'm Morgan Freeman. Oh, Dude, I'm... stop deep throating your microphone. God damn.
Chase the jet. Get. Well, jet. it's a game. About look, you're chill. People. You're chill sometimes, but look. At a certain amount of time, just stop it. Fucking stop. Just stop deep throwing your mic. It's kind of annoying. Bro, how many times do I deep throw my mic, guys? I don't know. You think we're fun? You think we're counting? I've only I'm just ever gonna done say it a lot. That was the coolest drift I think I've ever done in this truck. Where's this truck's engine? <laughs> That's a good. The game's out. I don't over. know. We're here though. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're about to get an easy ah, one. Then. That's a nice truck. I'd like to keep it. It. You can't keep this. But I was gonna Damn say it. it's in the front, but it's not. I'm assuming it's underneath. <clears throat> I'm gonna take another look. <laughs> hey, have you ever, have you ever played this Perhaps. game? It's not. Well, it is underneath. I was right. Hey, hey, Jet. Have you ever played this game called Super okay. Auto Pets? Look in the front. You'll see. It's a very well, small engine. I don't know how the fuck this, that, that engine really works with this truck, but. Why are you saying no? Wow. It's probably the smallest engine I've ever seen for a truck this size. Yeah. Wow. It is. It is very small. And it also somehow or another is a 4x4 four four as well, so very surprising. Wow. Wow. Jet. Hey, hey, we're not asking for the Minecraft Villager here. Okay. Good night, Tracy. Good night, Tracy.